What is up everyone? This is Too Slow. Today I'm going to be installing a rear view mirror, compass, and temperature gauge on the Celica. Um, I have already started taking it apart because if you look at the sky, it's going to rain very soon. I already got most of the Celica part. If you guys don't know how to take this apart, one, two screws to pop out this panel one two so four in total um let's see what else one two three four ten millimeter to pop out the radio and you'll have all this exposed um so the mirror it requires 12 volts and ground to get power to the compass and the temperature gauge the little display that goes right here so we're gonna get it from the radio harness the 12 volt from accessory um, when I pulled this mirror off at the junker it was actually connected under here um, I'm not gonna be pinning to see which one has 12 accessory so I'm just gonna grab it from the radio which is quick quick and easy because it's right here 12 volt this is your accessory 12 volt we're gonna tap in there to power the temp and compass for the mirror um, yes remove this Remove this bottom tray, it'll make life a lot easier. Some people will be like, no, you don't have to, but it will make your life easier. Um, let's see. You have one, two, 10 millimeters. You have to take them out. Let's go ahead and do that. Be careful with um, any um, connections you have, like my HID leveler. Just go ahead and pop that off, and hmm, I think that should be fine. It gives us enough space to work down here. Um, I don't I think we could just to make this job easier. I'm gonna remove this panel. So what I did was I grabbed an antenna off another vehicle. I tied the temperature sensor wire on it and I'm poking through where the the cable for your your hood latch. I'm running the, the wire through there. It should be fine. There's a rubber grommet, a rubber cap that will pop out and you can slide the wire through there. It's much more easier to see on this side. As you can see, out let's there you go wires out and yeah i'm gonna insulate this wire with stuff right now so don't worry about that now the wire's out let's go wire it up in the inside you want to pop this panel off you pop it off take it off and you're gonna want to get the end that goes to the rear view mirror you want to run it under the dash Feed it through here, make it run on, all along the pillar, and right here. And let's go ahead and do that. It's so simple on this model. Look at this. Like, yo, <laughs> the wire's already out. Ugh. Let's see. All right, come out. All right. We're gonna run this, the pole bolt, under the dash, out to the radio. And for that, we're just gonna shove it through here, and it should pop out this way. You know, I sometimes wish all cars had this much space for hands for people with big hands. Like, y'all, look at this. That simple. So simple. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and zip tie all this under the dash and make sure I have enough cable length for this wire that goes up here. For the rear mirror, all you do is just pop it upwards like this. There's a, you see this little hook right here? What you want to do is shove a flat head into it. When it's like this, just shove a flat head and this little notch, you press it in and it's just slide right off. Very easy. And there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is zip tie the wire all along this. It feels like it got a lot of slack right here. So I'm just gonna just shove the wire instead of removing the whole head lighter because this, this point is like that. Got some zip ties right here. And I bought this just for this kind of stuff. It's um installation solution expandable braided sleeve. It's about quarter inch, six meters, six millimeters. Yeah, quarter inch, six millimeters. And I'm gonna use this for the wire that goes on the wheel well to like 
keep it protected, I guess. But it's really cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks on eBay and it's a really good amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on that wire over there. Let's go ahead and start zip tying this. Went ahead and zip tied the majority of the wiring here. Uh, I didn't pull the zip ties all the way because I'm gonna adjust it once I got this. Once I get this connected, well, I'll I'll finish zip tying these up tight. Let me go ahead and install this. Um, for this one, you actually have a. It looks like a like a Torx bit. You gotta loosen this to get the this piece out, and it'll slide right in easy. Got that installed. Now I'm gonna run the. When I went to the junkyard, this um, mirror. When I went to the junkyard, this mirror came with these cover tabs. I guess these cover pieces that hide that this wire going up here. And we're gonna go ahead and install those. And so there it goes. It's all attached. I don't think it's coming off with just like that <laughs> so now let's set this downwards and now we're gonna run the piece that goes right here it's a little bit tricky but I think we, if we remove this it'll be a lot easier let me go ahead and do that so opening that definitely makes it a lot easier I recommend removing this and now you're gonna be able to slip this in went ahead and installed it and it's just a little cover I guess it makes it look more sleek or more like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a little cover so I'm just gonna put that there that's what I got from the junker and that's what I'm putting on now you can put your light back on tuck the wire in finish zip tying it here so now your pillar cover can go back on very very easy make sure the weather shipping is outside so I finally got the rear view mirror wired up I got the, the wires here the black ones um, ground obviously goes to your black and the voltage one goes to your red because that's your accessory 12 is your constant the yellow one is the 12 constant red is for ignition I guess or accessory so check this out it's off right now there it goes awesome so now that wiring up the pow the mirror to the power now that's done we can go ahead and put our center console back on um went ahead and where is it at zip tied the the wire that goes under into the pillar and now we're going to focus on the outside portion so let's go ahead and put this back on we're done right here we're gonna need this one more now we're just go outside now what we're doing is just feeding the the tubing on the wire for the outside portion so as you can see, I got the braided line running all along the hood latch release and into that hole. And we're gonna mount the sensor. And when I got out of pick and pull, it was like right here in this area be on top of the fog light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install it there. Most likely zip tie it because um, there was, I don't think, well, I think it clips onto something, but I'm not sure where it is. I'll have to take off my bumper and figure out where it goes. So I ended up with extra and I ended up just zip tying it together. Um, I don't know if this is the exact location it went, but I feel like it is. But if someone has this on their sofa, can they double check for me and let me know where it goes? I mean, it, it feels like it's sturdy here. Here, look. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. And it's on a, like a tab or something, so I feel like that's where it goes. I'm just gonna leave it there. Hopefully it works. Moment of truth. See if it works. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. Oh wow, that's awesome. Okay. So. Damn, that's awesome. I don't. I don't know why I'm getting overexcited over just a freaking temp sensor and compass. 
Like that's that's awesome. I, I I'm happy with that. Like that's awesome. 